Welcome back to Tony's Garage. I am Tony and today we are going to do the third part of the Shuko unboxing. We are going to have some great models in this presentation. So stay tuned because you are going to enjoy it. And the first model is from the Shuko Pro Air series. So we are going to discuss about the resin model. And this one is a Visman GT MF5. Or at that moment it was the latest generation of Visman. Visman is a German manufacturer of a very small one that produces very modern retro cars, let's say like that. Uh, it's something quite similar to the Morgan from uh, Great Britain, but in this case they are using aluminum and, uh, or very light bodies on BMW M uh, engines. So quite a crazy combination. In this one, the GT series of the MF5, it is a great, great looking one and a great example of that retro design that I was talking about. Having in mind that this car has an M5 engine under, under the bonnet, it is an absolute, absolute racket. And it looks fantastic, great details. Of course, it's a resin model, so it's something that you should expect. Absolutely fantastic interior, something that you are going to enjoy when you are seeing a resin model because the details are top notch. Great brake calipers, great rims, very nice details on this limited edition of 750 models. Next Shuko model, this time we are discussing about the MF4 Visman in this great white. At the first glance, you're not going to see a lot of differences, but believe me, the GT series is a lot wider than the MF4, the simple, the, you can say that if this is this is a simple one. It has a lizard as a, as an emblem, and you can see it here on the on front, in the front and on the back as well. Being a resin model, it has lots and lots of details. I love those seats, very detailed one. The board, the dashboard is great. The steering wheel is also very cool. You'll have plenty and plenty and plenty of details on this model car. Again, a limited edition of 750 models. A great German car. Not many of us know or knew about the Wiesmann. Tell me if you know more. I'm pretty sure that Sven will have a lot more details for me. But uh, looking, for, uh, looking forward to see his comments. Cool. Now, let's go to a brand that everybody knows. And in this case, we are going to discuss about BMW. To be more specific, this is the 328. It also won the Mille Mille at some point. Not this one, but one of them. Not exactly my favorite color on this car, but I really like this type of design on cars. So BMW or BMW 328 in chrome. Very nice uh, details. You can see the inter that interior and that dashboard. Not uh, as detailed as the normal one, as you will see in, uh, in the near future, but very, very nice one. And since it's all chromed and with this wooden stand, it is quite heavy. This is very nice car to, uh, to place it on a desk or to place it in a singular place. Uh, it does not have that uh, the same type of boxing as the Shuko used to have, so I need to fix it with some duct tape. Let's see what we have next. Hmm. So we have to choose between the smallest BMW and an absolutely land yacht from Maybach. So this is the Vision Mercedes Maybach 6. 6 because it's 6 meters long, so limited edition of 500. This is the convertible version, the specific boxing of Shuko, something that I really, really like. And this absolutely huge looking car. It's a two-door car and two-seater car, as you can see inside. But believe me, this is bigger than some huge cars, some luxury cars, some limousines. So absolutely fantastic. The details are top-notch. I love that interior. Look at that board and the steering wheel, absolutely fantastic details. And look at those great mirrors. You can see here written six cabriolet because this is the cabriolet version. I will show you to you. I will show to you the coupe version in a moment. Don't uh, don't worry. Absolutely love this car. I'm a big fan of these coupe cars from Maybach. They can be very very eccentric. You can say that it looks like a wooden deck. So the Landy uh, Landia name or nickname is something that can be really appropriate for a car like this one because it looks exactly like a luxury boat. Limited edition of 500 models. Now, as I said, we will move to the smallest BMW ever made. And this time I'm going to show you a version of the BMW that helped BMW not get bankrupt. So this is the BMW Iseta, a police version of BMW Iseta, if you could imagine that this car can be a police car. It is extremely small. This car will make a Fiat 500 look big. This one, this little Iseta, absolutely fantastic little car. It, it is smaller than a Fiat 500. It has top-notch details, the Shuko, limited edition of 750. It has that Lance Polize livery and the siren. Only one driver in this car. You, you the door is in front, so you'll open the, you'll open the door like this one, like this. 
it is an absolutely gorgeous little little model and in comparison with the Maybach when you are thinking that both of them are at the same scale mm, this is almost as big as a wheel of this car so yeah crazy times but hey a great great model I'm very happy with this one and because I showed to you I showed you the cabriolet version now let's go to the coupe one so the cabriolet one you can see it on YouTube in some clips being functional but I'm not sure if you could see, if you'll be able to see the coupe one as well if I'm not mistaken when it uh, was presented the coupe one was only a concept so it had no interior hence the windows on this car are completely matte completely black and you can uh, you are not able to see anything inside that being said fantastic grill great details love those rims look at them absolutely fantastic absolutely gorgeous model and let's put it aside with the cabriolet one the proportions are the same but you can see the interior on the cabriolet one great details absolutely fantastic cars i'm a big big fan of these kind of cars from from my back i think there is one more that i need to find but uh, other than that i i tried to have them all luckily for me they don't make many models so uh, my wallet uh, at least from for my back is safe I cannot say the same for Lamborghini or Bugatti, but hey. The last Maybach from the series, previous concept, before the Vision 6. But for me, this one looks like a Batmobile, to be honest. I absolutely love this one, as long as the ones that you've seen earlier. But this one is called Fulda Concept Car, Accelero, Maybach. This one was real car, it was made. I, some rumors said that Jay-Z bought it at some point. I'm not sure, but it is not impossible for me to believe it. Look at it. Absolutely fantastic looking car. You can see that it has an older design, but still, as impressive as the Vision 6, the Accelero looks absolutely fantastic. A bad mobile for the day, as it is great, great looking car. You have, if you are looking on the uh, interior, you are going to see that every seat has racing seat belts, so five points uh, seat belts, and in the back right here, you will have the helmets for the driver and for the passenger. So absolutely fantastic details that you are not going to see every day when it comes to a model car, and especially when it comes to a Maybach. Uh, my bike that is extremely extremely long and now let's move to some racing cars from Shuko and I'm going to present to you right now a car from Nürburgring a great endur endurance race with lots of cars racing in the same time the Audi TT Air from 2004 that went at Nürburgring very sporty and very aggressive design on this Audi TT usually you are going to see a small car and very with very nice and curb lines but in this case it is a little monster I love the front grille and the details in front. Let's see, you'll only have one seat, one, uh, seat inside, the driver's seat, of course. Lots of buttons, probably because everyone, every button had another action to do. The roll cage, of course, being a racing car. Now, let's discuss about a racing car that looks almost exactly like a street vehicle, because in the 40s, this is how the cars used to look. This time, we are discussing about a ch uh, champion, a winner of Mille Miglia, that famous race from Italy, and this is the BMW. 328 coupe another version but this time we are going to discuss about the version that won the Mille. great details it looks absolutely fantastic it, it, it is a very small car in comparison with all other cars but very fast for those times at least this is one of those cars that i have at 118 scale maybe at some time i will be able to show that model to you as well this is uh, an absolutely great looking car and because i'm quite a fan of the bmw 328 now i'm going to show you the road version of it the cabriolet version another cute little BMW. This is the little beauty. I like the brown and beige color combination. I like these leather straps that will, uh, will hold the bonnet. I like the wipers on the windscreen. Very nice steering wheel and very nice details and cool, cool spare tire. And of course, the usual Shuko box that I really, really like. Another 328. This version is the roaster one. Another great, great details, uh, detailed BMW from Shuko, limited edition of 1,000 models, and it looks absolutely great. So, 328 was a fantastic BMW that raced in that period of time and that won a lot of prizes. It is a great, great piece of machinery. I like that um, dashboard. If you watch it closely, you'll see the aluminum tent on it. Great details. I like the shift. Great. You can also see the pedals. Very nice details on this Shuko model. I'm, as I said until now, I'm very, very, very pleased with it. Inside. Now, this is a Volkswagen or, or VW 
T1 Samba Boss. Very cool T1 model. I'm quite a fan of the Volkswagen buses, but unfortunately I don't know how, but I didn't manage to get many of them. So this is one of the few Volkswagen buses that I have in my collection. And this is the only T1 Volkswagen that I have, but it looks absolutely great. And I really like this woody livery. As you can see, that wooden style fits the T1 perfectly. Great details. And also it has a great panoramic roof. It doesn't have glass here, so you can look inside very carefully, very closely. It has, it has some, a great interior, two set of passenger seats, very, very cool details on this model, and it has California plate numbers. Well, being a Volkswagen or Woody, this is something I should have expected. Moving to the last one, and this will take a little time because this one is a set. So give me a few moments to unbox it because I need to be very careful with it. Okay, it looks like I have something here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so here I have some accessories for the ramp, for the trailer. To put, uh, to put them down and let the car slide if I want. And now let's open it. The same opening style. So this is very good, especially for this kind of models. Another layer of protection. This is how the set looks like. I need to be quite careful because the Porsche is not fixed whatsoever. So it, it is very mobile, but it looks absolutely great. Look at it. Okay. And moving the Porsche so I can be more relaxed now. You'll have this great Mercedes L319 with and the trailer. And now we can discuss about this very beautiful 911 RS. Very beautiful looking Porsche with nice details. Only one mirror because on that period of time it was mandatory only for the driver to have a, min, uh, a mirror. The, uh, the right mirror was optional, but absolutely great details on this one. It is not on the same quality level with the normal Shuko models because it was a little cheaper to be honest, but Having in mind that it's a set and uh, a very cool one, I'm very, very happy with it. This was the last part of the unboxing for that Shuko uh, box. I hope you enjoy it and um, don't worry, soon I will start another unboxing with another box. Stay tuned. Cheers!